Hello once again and welcome back to another episode of Nosh's Quest to Gold. Today we're going to be looking at a Protoss vs Zerg matchup on Daybreak. I'm down the bottom left hand side, I'm Nosh, your red Protoss hero. Up the top right hand side is our Zerg opponent, Deep. This was another fun game I played quite recently, um, I really enjoyed it, I thought it would be a very good game to cast and show you guys, so we're going to jump right into it. Um, following the theme of the last game I played, uh, the PVT, um, this game is going to be another game with me dealing with some pressure and seeing the pros and the cons of what I do and just discussing how I could have dealt with it better or, you know, the things I do well, the things I do badly. So my typical um, build at the moment against Zerg is just trying to get up a forge and get up a fast expand. The majority of Zerg I've faced on the ladder um, at least go to two bases pretty much straight away. Some of them will get a pull first, you can actually see my opponent. Uh, no, you can't, you can see me rallying my own probe, sorry, around to check see if there's a spawning pool, and see if he's gone for his base. I've dropped my early pylon here. Uh, on daybreak you can forge gateway cannon and then use your nexus to make your wall off, but you'll see me complete that a little bit later on. So straight out the bat, I always like to scout early against Zerg. Uh, I actually like to scout early, pretty much 9 pylon scout with against every race, just because at this level I'm still preparing to de uh, deal with either a 6 pool or a 10 pool or an 8 pool, some kind of early pool from a zerg, or cannon rushes from a protoss or fucking hidden racks somewhere from um, a terran. Uh, I don't think I saw this drone run down um, with my probe here, but as I say my opponent has gone straight for his um, early first hatch, straight for his expand, um, and his way to scout me with this guy. I found this here so I'm just going to nibble away at the corner of this. Uh, I'd like to see me actually move my probe down here and make sure he doesn't take a fast third when he scouts what's going to be my expansion going up in the next few minutes. Um, seeing a zerg expand straight away without popping down uh, his spawning pool, uh, I usually go forge, nexus, gateway cannon. Um, I'd also again like to see myself come back in at the base just to see if there is a spawning pool down or as I say if he goes for his third timing here. Um, because I've seen him go uh, hatch first I know that he can't have a spawning pool up yet, so I'm perfectly safe to go back into the base to check for this spawning pool, for this gas, to see what kind of thing I'm going to be dealing with. So as I say, I've got my nexus down, I've got my gateway going up. I actually have a little bit of harass here from this drone. Um, I need to get my cannon in, but it gets blocked. But as I say, with this wall off here, with uh, forge gateway cannon, uh, the only way... Oh, oh, run, 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 you're gonna die. The only way to get in here, uh, if you actually see this highlighted, the only way to get in is the long way around. So I'm just gonna play Ring Around the Rosie here with this little uh, Zerg drone. Unfortunately, I have to keep control of my probe, whereas, as you notice, Deep has no control over this. He's actually currently looking over here. He's getting out some lings and things. Um, so the mistake I've made so far is not came back into the base. We've taken this probe's vision, you can see I haven't seen the spawning pool, I haven't seen the gas timing. My opponent is, you know, getting two queens out, he's getting quite a bit of gas, he's got zerg speed on the way, and he definitely doesn't have a third base. And getting chased away by Lynx here, again, my probe doesn't check for the third base, so I can't tell whether my zerg opponent is going to go two base aggression, or whether he's going to go three base name for a more macro oriented play. Um, down here I think the cannon managed to get the kill, did it? Well, oh, maybe not. Well, either way I've managed to shoo away the little um, drone that was giving me a bit of harassment. I've got a Zella on the way with my nice complete wall off. And I'm going to put a pile on here and another gateway here to have a, a complete wall off at the front here. Uh, my opponent does a good job of not running his lings into my cannons. He's seen the cannons at the front, he knows what to expect. So at this stage in the game, I'm trying to macro up and trying to get ahead, or at least keep up in the drone count. You can see actually I'm currently winning with 26 harvesters to 21, looking at the income tab at the top here. Um, although a little bit of my uh, build is slipping, I only have one gateway down the front here. I haven't started um, a cybernetic score, which to be honest would be better off here. Uh, I haven't got a pylon in my main base, there goes one now, but I'd like to see a pylon here, or just to start piloning in the front to get a couple more gateways down. Um, and at the same time, you might have noticed that there's a mass of Zerglings appearing at the front of the base here. Uh, my opponent has built and completed a Baneling Nest, and has stopped producing drones altogether. So, with only two workers in this base here, uh, nothing but Zerglings, and pretty much a nicely saturated base here, and tons and tons of Zerglings and Banelings coming at the front, I'm sure you've guessed it, I'm going to have a very nice two base boss to deal with in a second. Another mistake I'm making, fair enough, I need to block the one small gap that, as you can see, is left in between um, the cannon and the gateway there. Uh, if I'll just turn, turn around, it's not insert, it's delete, I want to press. He's blocking the only gap into my base there. 
I would like to see me with this um, zealot to run down and take the Zelnaga Watchtower here, so I can at least see this coming along my way. Now, with a sentry or something, I'd maybe have held off this a little bit better, but this number of banelings we've got, that's a good eight coming into my base. A few of them get busted in the cannon, uh, but with these zerglings running in, my gap uh, is no longer held by the zealot. So, um, Deep does a good job and just rushes all these zerglings straight up into the main. I'm very quick to respond, I realise I have no defences up here, I could put a cannon down, I probably should have left one probe to do that, but I pull all my probes back off the line, uh, pull them all down, hide them with the cannons, and um, go back down to the minerals. Uh, the cannons have done a good job and killed most of the zerglings, I only have two left, so I decide, again, with all of my drones is probably a bit over the top, but with half of my drones I should have moved in, killed those dudes, moved back off. The second wave of the attack is now rolling in, the cannon's still doing a good job, but they're both going to die to these banelings. Only one cannon remaining, but enough to kill the few probes, uh, sorry, the few zerglings that are in my base, or at least they should be. My drone train's having a bad time running away from this baneling. Uh, I've got a couple of zealots out though to defend my cannon, to defend my front, and I'm just kind of running around here. Uh, that was very close. Run, run, run. Oh, that was unpleasant. I'm running away here. Uh, I've got these two zealots that should actually be on hold position uh, at the front here, stopping any more guys coming in. I do have quite a bit of money, so again, a couple of zealots, a couple of pylons, a couple of cannons, try and get it up straight away and get up my defences. I'm kind of just trying to re you know, like control myself, get my front saved a bit better, but at the same time, Deep is just, he's going straight for the throw, he's going straight for the jugular, and just diving in attack after attack after attack, which, in his defence, that's what he should really be doing with this number of banelings again, these zerglings don't stand a chance, a couple of us straight away, another blow up here and there, the cannon goes down, I have next to no defence. Uh, with one zealot that just came out of that last gateway here, he's going to get a couple of kills before he dies, uh, but unfortunately all I have are drones. My drones are going to do their best to protect this photon cannon here, but looking at units killed, which I think is controller, I've already lost 12 workers. Um, fair enough, I've killed uh, 58 now of his units, but with just 16 links being produced at a time, 22 at the moment actually streaming into my base. There's no probe micro in the world that's going to be able to save me. Um, Deep does the smart thing and unpowers the cannon at the front. Fair enough, I've got another couple of pylons. This is actually a complete wall off here to block the front of my base. But again, as you can see, zerglings become zerglings, become banelings, become smashing into my base. I feel like I'm doing an okay job in defending this. I finally got a mother ship core out. Um, a couple of sentries to be good, but I'm really not keeping on top of putting guys straight back into gas. I'm only really farming minerals at the moment, which can only really be used to make cannons um, and block the front. Um, again, I need a little bit more defense out. I'm trying to rush out a sentry, uh, not a sentry, sorry, a stalker up onto my ramp. Uh, just for a little bit of ranged attack on the zerglings. As I say though, being able to block the front a bit better, uh, another cannon or something, would have probably been more favorable. Um, now that the zerglings and the banelings are into my base and have busted through, this cannon's not going to last very long. This doctor's not going to last very long. The mothership core is doing it's a good bit of defense, but its damage isn't terribly high. Um, I've not really defended the back of my base here either. As you can see, there's no cannons. Fair enough, I'm getting some free mining time while my opponent is distracted down here. Uh, and has decided to just completely sack this space. I've decided to let this base just go and die at this point, and just try and focus, just pulling back and defending um, the back here. I'm going to lose my forge, which means I won't be able to have any cannons up at my top base, or um, defending the ramp. I'm going to lose this gateway, more than likely before these two cute zealots are going to come out. Hopefully I notice that and cancel them. I'm definitely going to lose um, my expand here, as as you can see, floods and floods of servants are rushing into my base. Now I've made an attempt to put up some pylons up the top to block my ramp to at least build some degree of defense back here. The problem I'm dealing with, unfortunately, is there's just too many zerglings. Fair enough, the surface area isn't that big, but this pylon's probably going to go down. I'd, I'd just see rushing to try and get some gateways up and things. The Mothership Core is actually doing quite well, Master Mothership Core, making 16 kills, and I almost even got my last gateway down there, which probably would have held the defense. Unfortunately, at this stage, there's just too much. I'm just overwhelmed. And my opponent, with a great attack and a great two base bust, has clearly won this game. Um, a few things learned from this game, as I say. I really need to scout a bit better at the start of the game. I can't just assume that my Zerg opponent is going for a three base early expand. I can't just assume that. I need to keep my scouting on. If I see him take a base before a pool, I'll always go back in to check his pool or his gas timing, and stick around here if you don't see one to see if you see a third. 
Um, thank you very much for watching this game, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did playing it and casting it. Feel free to leave me any comments or anything down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!